Hey everyone, I'm Dr. McNabb. I've been a practicing chiropractor for over 10 years now, and there's a few things I've learned along the way, and I get questions all the time. Why should I go see a chiropractor? Who should go see a chiropractor? So I decided to put this video together for you, my top five reasons why you should go see a chiropractor. You ready? Here we go. Number five, you don't wanna be a hunchback. See, the reality is that your spine is designed and shaped a very specific way. When we are born and created, we are designed to have three curvatures in our spine. This first one right here is the backward curve. It's called the cervical lordosis. The middle one here is the mid-back. That's called a kyphosis. And the lumbar spine down here, that should also be a backward curve. Now, through a lot of the things that we do throughout our lifestyle, technology, texting, reading, computer work, driving, a lot of things kind of bring us forward. And what that does over the time, over the years, and the longer you do it, and the more often you do it with bad posture, the more that does, it creates this abnormal straightening of the neck. Now, we used to call this military neck. Now, this is called tech neck. When the neck straightens out like this and you lose this natural cervical lordosis, that creates what appears to be very bad posture. And that will make people look like a hunchback. All my life I wonder how it feels to pass a day. So I get people all the time that come in and they ask me, how do I have a hunchback? How do I get rid of this hump on my back right here? The main reason why people have that is because they have a loss of the cervical lordosis or a straightening of the neck. So that is number five reason why you should go see a chiropractor because chiropractors can actually fix this stuff. I specialize in my office, the cervical restoration of the curve to bring the curve backward in its normal optimal position. And then of course we talk about lifestyle type habits where you should bring your phone up or phone to face as my good friend, the good chiropractor calls it, phone to face. And then when you're on the computer, bring your computer up, fix your posture is essentially the, the, the long and the short of it. So go see a chiropractor to fix the structure of your spine. And then, but you also have to make sure you do your part to fix your posture. Number four, pain makes you moody and nobody likes a moody person. Pain puts you in a bad mood. And so when it comes to pain and symptoms, especially in the spine, the neck, the back, the low back, sciatica or radiculopathy or neuropathy, numbness and tingling in the hands, a lot of times it's because your spine has shifted out of alignment and it's damaging or putting pressure on the nerves. Now, a lot of people call this pinched nerves. Nerves don't actually get pinched. We don't have crabs in there pinching your nerves, but essentially the nerves do get damaged due to abnormal alignment or positioning of the spine. And if that's the case, that could be what's actually causing most of your pain. So don't be moody, just go see the chiropractor. Number three, Pain can alter your gait and your biomechanics. So your gait is how you walk and your legs come in right down here into the hip joint and they attach kind of like this, like a ball and socket. So that hip joint uh, inserts into the hips and if your pelvis is misaligned, like if your spine looks like this, instead of being straight and the whole thing straight up and down, the hips being level and perfect, then that can alter your gait. Now, when you have lower back pain, and especially the people that sit on their wallets, that purposefully when you sit, it kind of tilts your pelvis, or if you sit on your phone, like a recent patient told me, I have a phone and I sit on my phone in my back pocket, don't do that anymore. Take your wallet out of your pocket, take your phone out of your back pocket when you sit down, because you're messing up your hips and your pelvis, and then that will mess up your gait or how you walk. So if you notice, or if somebody else notices, for you that you walk kind of with a limp or, or like, well, you're kind of dragging your feet, it's most likely because there's a biomechanical structural issue in your hips and in your pelvis. And chiropractors specialize in that kind of stuff to restore proper joint biomechanics and to fix and realign the hips and the pelvis. So that's number three. Reason number two, you don't wanna walk like a nursing home patient. And I say that with all due respect, 
if you think about and look at how somebody in a nursing home walks, unfortunately, they are usually very hunched over. They don't have a lot of range of motion, so they tend to turn using their whole bodies. And that is because the spine is wearing and tearing. And it goes along with reason number five, and even the other ones like the gait and your hips and your pelvis, but especially number one, because bad posture and having tech neck is one of the things that is going to end up inevitably leading to something like nursing home posture. So if you don't have a curve in your neck, if you have tech neck, if you don't have that curve, that is leading to worsening posture. And so it starts off with a little bit of forward head posture and then it continues to get worse and worse and worse. And that's how a lot of people end up in that nursing home posture type position. So you should go see a chiropractor because they can help you alleviate that pain and discomfort and that kind of compression like feeling. If you've seen any of my other videos, and if I'm able to, maybe I'll put them here or here or here or here. If you've seen a lot of my videos, you know that we do like rapid spinal decompression or other types of lumbar and cervical type decompression because a lot of us, due to technology and sitting and a lot of other things, we feel very compressed in our spine. So we need to decompress and open up those spaces, restore that proper curvature, fix the joint biomechanics so that we can have good posture and we don't end up like nursing home posture. Number one, to see a chiropractor, why everybody needs to see a chiropractor. And the reason is the same reason why you need to go see a dentist. It's the same reason why you need to eat healthy and exercise and take care of your body. Because the reality is you only have one. You only have one spine, you only have one body, so you have to take care of it. You go see a dentist because you want to keep your teeth healthy because you don't want them to rot and, and get plaque and all kinds of gum disease and problems in your teeth. The same reason why you should go see a chiropractor is because you have a spine and chiropractors work directly with the spine. We're actually the only profession in the entire healthcare industry that works only directly with the spine. We are trained and taught as doctors of chiropractic to work with the spine every single day. And I've been doing this for the last 10 years. I've seen over 16,000 people by now. Every single one of them has one thing in common. They all have a spine. So if you have a spine, which I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you're, you're gonna have a spine because I don't think we can have spineless people. I mean, at least metaphorically speaking, spineless. But realistically, you all have a spine, so you have to take care of it. It's very, 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 very important that you take care of your spine because you only get one. So once it goes bad, there's no turning back. Take care of your spine, even if you don't have spinal problems or issues or problems with your neck or your back or any symptoms, it's important that you take care of your spine because you only get just one.